Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. Welcome back. Hello. We are uh, we're getting ready to do our last session of the day. Woo! I got coffee. <laughs> he has coffee. Uh, so last session we finally had our dinner that we've been waiting five weeks to have with uh, Lady Fiona Watcher. <laughs> and um, she is, uh, to say that she is a fan of Shroud is... Putting it lightly. It's like she has a Strahd shirt that says go Strahd. <laughs> she basically has a banner in her room that's like, Strahd, Strahd, he's the man. If he can't do it, it's because the sun's out. Um, <laughs> but it's never out. But it's never out. So he can just walk around. So we can do it. Um, we also talked to Rictavio, a.k.a. Rudolph. Bum, ba, Rudy. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> yeah, you uh, know, we, we know that now. He's basically our close personal friend. Best friends. We performed together. We did perform together. And I did very well. Yeah, and I threw you really high in the air. But it was mostly me that did well. I danced robot things poorly. <laughs> Not actually. Danced I would like never a suit of armor. <laughs> yeah. And where are you guys out now? Uh, we are standing by the front door. And what's what's going well, to get you down? Me and Dirt are going to go root through her shit. On a best friend adventure. Best friend adventure. We did our secret handshake. Best friend adventure. You know, water's really good, but when it's in a top tabling tumbler, it gives me the ability to roll a nat 20. Yep, that's a nat 20. Wow, where can someone get one of those? Reach out to us at Top Tabling on Twitter. What's that? Twitter.com slash Top Tabling. Can you say that one more time? I couldn't hear you. Twitter.com slash Top Tabling. Do it. <laughs> Fuck that ASMR shit. <laughs> it's weird. I thought we were on the junk drawer show. <laughs> Josh, you seem tense. We, ch we changed so fast. And you can also buy cups for Junk Drawer Show at... Nope. <laughs> Fill in the blank. At dry erase board on a white paper cup dot com. <laughs> we'll do merch down the line. Down. All right, let's jump into it. Is it really a secret handshake if it was on national television? <clears throat> Nationally syndicated. Television. I don't know. They should, we should probably just do it again. Yeah. You know. Okay. Um. It's not really a so. Secret. <laughs> uh, we're in the world now. Secret in the world. Aesthetic. Um. So. Uh. Rufio and Shark, you were outside the the house. Well, we're, um, I thought we were like in like yeah, the we're foyer. Yeah, kind of standing the in foyer. The foyer. Yeah. <laughs> My kid keeps coming back and burping. <laughs> yes, yes go. get the fuck out of here. Hey, I heard that you gave my ball to one of those fucks inside. You made an enemy for life. Emony. I have that, multiple balls. Yeah, I have multiple balls. I have many balls, yes. <laughs> Good move. Smart. Um, so you're at the, the foot of the stairs, and Dirt is just kind of like, what? What are we? So we just what? We just go. I, I've never done this. Yeah, with so you just, before. just be sneaky. We're going to go up. And we're, I'm gonna pick the lock again. You just stand watch. Okay. Stand, what what do I say when if someone's coming? Oh, uh, just let me know. Okay. Well, you said there's like a cat, right? What if I just meow? Sure. Okay. Meow. That's fine. Nice. Okay. So cat go ahead, roll nice. stealth. Rolling like a goop. King. Not twenty. Not twenty. Okay. You two. Yes. You two silently go up. There's like barely any creaks into the uh, the staircase, and as you go up, you hear more of that. <laughs> Dirt. <laughs> I think we have to see what that cat wants. It's, it's not a real cat. Uh, what do you mean it's not a real cat? Please, I'll be good. I promise. That. Oh. It's talking. Okay, so, so what? What do we do? Like you're gonna open the like pick the lock, open the door. That yeah, kind of thing? I'm gonna we're gonna walk up, uh, and through the door. Mm -hmm. Like, how do we get you out? <laughs> Here, mm. little kitty doesn't know you. I'm, she doesn't know you. My name is Eric, <laughs> and I'm Ralph. Yes, we are Eric and Ralph. What's your name? Meow. Is your name Cat? 
Little kitty doesn't know you. Little kitty doesn't know you. And her voice starts getting a little bit higher. Okay. We will see you later. Yes, Eric, let's go. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Are we not moving? Why are we just pretending? <laughs> Stealthy pitter patter. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> where are we going? Is she making any more noise? Meow. <coughs> she seems sketched out. I'm going to go to the other. Going to go to the bedroom. Okay. And it is locked again. Okay. Check for maybe, traps. Maybe we should see if she's inside first. How do we do that? And Dirk kind of puts his ear to the door. And you both can roll perception. Perception? Mm-hmm. Nine. Nine. Okay. And you both put your ears to the door and you kind of hear like walking around and like stuffling and kind of like muffled talking. Uh, can't really discern what's being said, but um, it sounds like they're still up and about whoever's in there and they might be getting, say, undressed and going to bed. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to the cat room. <laughs> okay. There are other doors. Do you want to go to the other doors? I mean, there's like that one, and he points to another kind of like closed door. Is that the one that I was at before? No, it was the one that you saw her coming from before. Wait, I saw her coming from one? Yeah. I thought, she, oh. Well, she appeared oh. from. Okay, yeah, let's do that let's one. See what this one is real quick. And then there's another one. There's one that has double doors on it uh, by the, the stairway. He's like, there's that one too. Like, maybe we could like dig around and see if there's anything else we can get, and then we wait until she's asleep, and then we open the door, right? That, yeah, that's a good idea. Fuck yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not your handshake. <laughs> so let. Okay, so, so let's let's go. uh let's check the double door. Double doors. Okay. Double door. Double door. It is locked again. I'll uh, listen to see if anyone's inside. You hear like. Like, occasionally you'll f- hear, like, and you'll hear, meow, but... Like a real cat? Real cat. Real cat meows. Uh, okay, let's uh, check for traps. Okay, go ahead and roll uh, perception investigation. One. Wait, re-roll. Because I'm lucky. Okay. 16. There are no traps. Okay, let's uh, pick that lock. Okay. Uh, which is what? Plus my dex? Proficiency in dex. So, 24. 24. <laughs> pick that. You, you're able to pick it expertly and quickly like as you hear butter. a satisfying click and you open. And this room is just, it is, it, it looks like it's a library. There are books everywhere. There are big um, leather chairs. There's a, uh, a desk, a chair, a table. There's even a, like a wine cabinet. Uh, it's a very irregular looking shape. Uh, cause none of its angles seem to be like quite right as though it's shifting like the house since it's shifted and grown, it looks like it just kind of, is at a weird angle mm-hmm. and it is crawling with fucking cats. Oh, gross. There's about eight of them. Uh, do me a favor. Go ahead and roll perception for me and dirt's going to do the same. Uh, five, five. And as you start to go like, <laughs> dirt kind of puts his hand on your shoulder. And he goes, look at that one around its collar. It has it has a key. Maybe it's to something. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, let's close the door though first. Yes, close and the door. <laughs> we'll lock it. God, Dirk is so smart. And, and they get, you quietly eek, lock the door and you're like, okay, fuck, we got like eight cats. Um, Okay, so go ahead and try to catch one of these cats, man. Is that, what am I rolling? Uh, you're gonna roll, I'll have you roll animal handling first to see if you can get the cat to come to you. Ooh, animal handling. Change, nice Here, change kitty, up. kitty, kitty, kitty. Nine. Nine, uh, the cat looks at you and goes, meow, and it, it starts bounding to the, where the, uh, wine glasses are. Ah, shit. You would have fucked that one up. Dirt, you wanna try? Um, I mean, I can... I can try, um, sure. Give me one second. Um, let me try to compose myself. Here, kitty. Nice kitty. Um, 
don't want to hurt you. We just want the nice key over your neck. And he kind of puts his hand out, and the cat just scratches the back of his hand. He's like, fuck! Okay, no. I don't think cats like me. Mm. Okay, well, then I'm going to sneak up on the cat. <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead, and how are you going to sneak on it? Because it's looking at you. Like that. But it's looking at you. <laughs> uh, dirt, cause a distraction. Like how? how I don't know. Cat? Just make the cat look at you. Ruh, 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 ruh. Good. Is he distracted now? The cat's like looking and then looks back at you. <laughs> ruh, 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 ruh. I'm a dog. <laughs> ruh, 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 ruh. Cats hate dogs, right? You're right. I'm not wrong. I feel like Rufio's just sighing, really. <laughs> and while you guys are outside... You hear that you, shit up there? You hear a... Ruh, ruh, ruh. They have a dog, too? Oh, fucking... I have no idea. It's like a zoo in here. Yeah. All right. Um, all due respect, um, I'm going to try to distract it, perhaps, with books. Because cats hate books, right? Maybe. I'm going to throw a book at it. Oh, you're going to hurt it. Okay. Yeah. So Dirt takes one of the books and he's like, he throws it. We'll see if he hits the cat with the book. He nails it. <laughs> it just kind of goes, boom, and it goes, boom. <laughs> so I guess it's eight, eight lives left. That was a joke. That was my attempt at humor. That was very funny. Thank you. I'm going to, and the cat's kind of donked out. Let's go grab that key. So you go to grab the key, and actually, uh, Dirt's going to start looking through the books. There might be something useful in here, anything maybe about Strahd or about the history of the town. I'm going to look at that, because she said this place has been here for like a long-ass time, right? Yeah, look for any books that seem out of place. Maybe it's a secret door. I've so seen should movies. I start like pulling? Yeah, start pulling them just a little bit. Look okay. for one that's shaded differently than the others. Sure. Okay, so he, he just starts looking through books, and... You start taking the key off of the cat. Yeah. I just want to. I'm struck with a book. Okay. And so he he, I don't know what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid books. What's the word? Uh, heretic. So it's a heretical book. Uh, I think that isn't that a, like a heritage? Isn't that like a family? No, no. A heretic is like going against religious a religion. heresy. Yeah. Oh, heresy, not heritage. Heretical, heretical text. So he heretical, heretical. So he kind of just, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. Because fuck it, books of knowledge. Sure love knowledge. Uh, books of knowledge. I think this key might be to open up that human cat room. We can try. Do we want to open the human cat room? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it, right? We have the key. This is a this is a dirt absidy adventure. Woo! Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Is there anything else in the, the um area? In the immediate area, yeah. there is like in the library. It looks like it's um Okay. Uh the, looking and scanning, go ahead and roll perception for me. And Dirt's Eight. gonna look as well. You are not doing well on those. You're doing great, great on other rolls, but <sighs> yeah. so lucky Dirt's there. Uh, <laughs> Dirt got a 18. He goes, you said look for anything that's odd, right? Like any kind of odd colored books? Yeah. And he kind of pulls you to the side as you go more towards inside the, uh, the library, because it's kind of stretches in an L shape, and he kind of all the books are like red and black binding, except for one has like a blue binding on it. And he goes, that's pretty weird. I check for traps. <laughs> okay, go ahead and check for traps. There's no traps. <laughs> <laughs> Three. No traps. Oh, God. All right, let's pull it. So you kind of, you start pulling and you hear this satisfying like click. And this hinge comes off from the bookshelf as you find a secret storage room. <laughs> Behind the hinge panel in the bookcase lies a dusty 10-foot square room with a curtain window and shelves lining three walls. On the bottom shelf rests an iron chest, and the other shelves are bare. Check for traps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I also DM. Uh, yeah. I wanted to un- 
cast bless because I didn't realize it only lasts for a minute, so it would have been fucking pointless. Okay, that's fair. We haven't been using it. That's yeah, fair. well, I mean, it's on attack we'll, rolls and saving throws. Okay, we we'll retcon it. Any of those. We'll retcon it. Okay, so... Um, what it, Check for traps is the roll plus dexterity? I think it's investigation plus Oh, investigation. Uh, 15. 15? So you see that there is a poison kind of like trap, but the way you're looking at the keyhole... Reminds you of the key that you just got. So, can I disarm that trap? You said I there mean, was a poison you dart? You can attempt to disarm it. Um, oh, the, oh, but the trap would only go off if I'm... You don't have if the, I if you take don't the, have the key. Okay, then yeah, I use the key. Okay. <laughs> you put the key in and you hear the, the spring kind of uh, stay taut as you open the chest and you find... <sighs> A silk bag containing 180. I forgot what these are called. They're the they're slightly more expensive than copper. They're oh, Illyrium or whatever. Yeah, the Illyrium pieces bearing Strahd's stern visage and profile. So they're still the Strahd coins. Ooh. A leather bag containing 110 gold pieces. A wooden pipe that has been passed down through many generations of the Watcher patriarchs. Five scrolls. Notarized deeds for parcels of land given to the Watcher family by Count Strahd von Zarevich nearly four decades, centuries ago. Oh. A supple leather case containing an unbound manuscript titled The Devil We Know. Reading through it, it looks like it is a poetic manifesto written by Lady Fiona Watcher herself, attesting that the worship of devils can bring happiness, success, freedom, wealth, and longevity. <laughs> Like, it would be so upset. There is also a blasphemous tri treatise. I don't know how to say that. Bound in a black leather tilted uh, book. It's called The Grimoire of the Four Quarters. It is written by the infamous diabolist, uh, Diabolist, Devostas, who is yet, who is drawn and quartered for his fell practices, yet did not die. Uh, and then there's also a very old letter to Lady Lovina Watcher. You would assume is an ancestor from one of Lord Vasily von Holtz, thanking Lovina for her hospitality, loyalty, and friendship over the years. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Dirt? Yeah? We have some reading to do. I love reading. Good, because you're going to do all of it. Okay. <laughs> that, I mean, that's kind of like my forte. Yeah, you're the smart one, right? I'm, I'm pretty smart. Yeah. I'm all right. Can I roll I'm, for flattery? I'm learned. Sure. I'm learned. <laughs> Natural <one>. six. <laughs> uh, you're you just kind of like it's you're coming off. You're saying it genuinely, but it's just coming off sarcastic. <laughs> you're like you're so smart. Yeah. Am I? Yeah. Thank. All right. Well, let's. I think I think we found what we need to find here. Okay. Um. Sorry to take us out really quick. Where are we at on the time? Because I forgot to put a timer on. Uh, twenty minutes. Uh, Eighteen yeah. minutes. Eighteen. Okay. Cool. Uh, so yeah, on to let's let's maybe close this back up. Yeah, close it back up. So you close, rehinge the everything, and um, where are you going next? Um, I really want to know what that cat is doing. Okay. So, so you're back at the. It's definitely not a cat. I know, but I'm calling <laughs> it a cat. I don't know her name. You gotta be. Don't be rude, dude. <laughs> You so we're not even there. <laughs> actually, go go to Fiona's be bedroom playing. door and listen. I want to see if she's asleep yet. Okay. Um, give me one sec. So you guys go ahead and roll perception. Are you going as well? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Why do you only throw scissors? Lucky. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, so you're listening, and it sounds like she's settled down. Okay. You don't hear any rustling or moving now. Okay. All right, Dirt, we got two options. We go in this room or we go in the cat room? Because I think if we go in the cat room, she's going to make some noise. Mm -hmm. What do you think? We should probably go in this room then because we don't want the cat to yell at us. I just don't know what's in there and it's really interesting. It is super interesting. Mm, what do you think? Ah, Fiona. 
Okay. Let's all see right. what's in here. All right, let's focus. Let's focus. Okay. What are you guys doing? <laughs> we're bored. What we would be doing? We're just standing by the door. So we're, okay. <laughs> um, we're playing Boulder Parchment Cheers. <laughs> okay. I keep throwing Boulder. He keeps throwing Cheers. <laughs> it's not going well. Is it unlocked? <laughs> is it unlocked? It is. It is locked. It's locked. Okay. I'm gonna roll to pick the lock. Okay. <laughs> How many times can I use Lucky? I forget what it is. You have to look at your... You have club. your traits. If you go oh, to your right. thing, go to Features and Traits. Thank you, D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond. Because we are totally not sponsored, but we are new users, and boy, are we loving it. Just like McDonald's. Because we never sell out. I'm loving it. Nope, not even a little bit. Because selling out is just all losing like part of your I humanity. I can use it as much as I want to. There you go. It's like people just do things for money. And that's just really sad. <laughs> That's why I enjoy top tabling, the taste of a new generation. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even think about it. It's giving me a headache. So uh, I got 17. Small, yellow. Different. What is lockpick again? It's uh, dexterity and proficiency. Okay. Then you 24. Lock. Yeah, you pick that lock. <laughs> so you rake over and you hear a click. Um, going to s- sneakily open the door. Okay, we, you roll stealth. 27. <laughs> it doesn't even squeak it's just like oof. and Dirt's like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> hold this it's all this stuff okay okay um okay I want is there anything notable around the room uh <laughs> Across the floor, or across from the door, there is a fire that's slowly, like, um, struggling in the hearth. Like, it's very low lit. Uh, above which hangs a framed family portrait of a noble father and mother. Uh, f- their two young sons and a baby daughter in the father's arms. Uh, the sons are smiling in a way that suggests mischief. And the parents look like uncrowned royalty. Uh, there is... Wood paneling that covers the walls of the room, a closet, and a framed mirror flank a curtain window to the south. To the north, a wide canopied bed lies pinned between uh, matching end tables with oil lamps. And stretched out on one side of the bed is a man dressed in black, his eyes each covered with a copper piece, and he bears a striking resemblance to the father in the painting. He's dead. And, And next to them, is Lady Fiona sleeping? Do you say the words he's dead? In my head. <laughs> okay. I whisper to and Dirt. Dirt goes, and then Dirt's like, Mess- message. And he gets a little piece of wire out and he goes, Oh my God, she's dead. He's dead. He's, she's sleeping with him in his room and I don't know what to do. You can reply to this message. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear in your head, as you're outside, you're like, Cheers again. <laughs> I don't know any other things. <laughs> I beat him once. I got. Uh, do, do you guys need help? And it goes. They're asking if we need help. Um, I don't. I don't even. I don't know. Yes. He and he goes. I don't know. Um, we're still trying to feel out the situation, but we haven't closed the door yet. You can reply to this message. <laughs> Uh, just, just know if, if we're coming, like, it's not, it's probably not going to be stealthily, because Shart's with me. I mean, if Shart's with them, it's not going to be really quiet. Let's try to, if, if there's anything in here that we can use. Yeah, let's, we'll look around. Um, just Dirt, be ready to, uh, <laughs> be ready to call them. Oh, I'll be using my actual outside voice. Oh, good, good, I can so hear that's that That's cool. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I'm just going to put this stuff down in case I need to run. Great. Don't be offended if I do. Great. Okay. All right. So, um, <laughs> I guess you're, I don't even know what to look for. There's closets. Yeah. There's go, bureaus. Go, yeah. Go to the, go to a bureau. Go and we'll see self. if there's like a, uh, a journal or something. A journal. I'll take it. Uh, 25. Okay. So you hear her breathing. Um, you, where are you going first? Uh, bureau. Bureau. Do, do you hear him breathing? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so he is there dead. There is a on one of the bureaus. There is a little iron chest. 
Check for traps. <laughs> Nine. You don't see any traps. Is it locked? Yes. Pick that lock. Okay. <laughs> 38. <laughs> uh, no, 12. I need you to, as a dart comes out of the chest, I need you to roll a, <sighs> uh, a constitution saving throw. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Eight. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my so god. So Dirt is behind you because he's in the room with you and it hits you in the neck. I need you to roll a d4. Four. You are knocked out for four hours. Oh. As you go, and he just grabs you. He's like, oh. <laughs> and he's just kind of screaming to himself. He's like, <laughs> and uh, so Dirt. Dirt kind of picks up Absidy. This is all just like a dirt adventure. I'm going to just gonna play with myself today. And so he kind of like brings Absidy back over and he he lays him down really gently. And he's like, okay, what do I do? This is crazy. This is crazy. What do you do? Um, okay. Uh, what happens when someone's passed out and someone's unconscious? Um, he, do you have any healing potions on you? Yes. Let me see how many. It's fucking great. Uh, I have six. Well, you're not down from being dead. Um, yeah, six. Okay. Um, oh, he does I have, have holy magic water. I'm sorry. You have holy water. Yeah. He's he tries to, and you you don't get knocked out, and so he goes into the corner. Okay, so um, a few things. absidy has been knocked out. And it's just me in the house by myself. Please, I don't... I'm not sure what to do, uh, but there's lots of stuff, I think, in the room. Do I go for it? And he... Did you guys find anything else in the room? In the other room? Any of the other rooms? (laughs) There's a chest. I'm trying to think what Rufio would do in this moment. Uh, You're very suspicious of her, so yeah. I. It depends if you think it's worth playing it safe. It at this point, it's 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 my my care. Okay, I got it. I got it. Mm-hmm. Dirt. Do you think you can get it? I think so. Then get it. Okay. Hmm. Dirt gets to try and pick a lock for the Hmm. first time. He is... I will let you know that Dirt's sleight of hand is a plus three, and his dexterity is a plus one. Uh, So we'll see how he goes. So he... He takes off uh, Absidy's lockpicking kit, and he's seen Absidy do lockpicking a few times, and he's like... Fuck that. Um... He puts the lockpick in, and he's looking around for any kind of, like, sack. And so he gets one of the um, cloaks, and he starts tying it up like a bindle, and he starts putting all the shit in it. Um, And then he sneaks back into the room, and he holds his breath. (sighs) He got a nat 20. (laughs) That's fucking great. And he goes in, and he's like, and he lifts the iron chest and it's this it's solid iron it's heavier than he expects it's like, oh. and he's like and he looks over at the dead body he's like oh. <laughs> thank god for the nat 20 and he's just like fred flintstone bowling he's like and he slowly goes out as he quietly closes the door and he's like um, and he picks up Absidy, who's just like, Bleh. <laughs> and he puts his body in the bindle, but keeps his head out and he ties the bindle up and he slings the bindle over his shoulder. Let's see if he can hold it. Like a papoose. <laughs> kind of like a papoose. <laughs> okay. That is a, he's pretty strong. That's a 15. So he goes, <laughs> and he puts the chest on his other shoulder and very slowly I have to do stealth now this poor, oh, no. this poor fucking kid uh, he starts 
slowly going down the stairs as carefully as he can. And um, he goes a little loud and he goes meow. <laughs> and the, uh, then the, the girl on the other, or the voice behind one of the doors goes meow. And so he slowly goes down the stairs a little bit faster, and uh, he goes outside the door. As he's like, huh, mm, and you see dirt come outside of the uh, the door. You guys are a, a little bit a ways away, yeah. But you see dirt with a sack in this chest. And he's looking around frantically, like, huh. I'll I'll run up to him. I found these. Uh, Absidy's knocked out. There's a dart still sticking in his neck, like, huh. <laughs> take the dart out. And uh, I'll I'll take the chest from him. And it's, yeah, it's take a heavy fucking chest. Like it I need you to roll a strength check for it. Uh, that's a natural nineteen. Okay, so you're able to take it, but it is a lot heavier than just iron. Like, yeah, there's more shit in here. Okay. Um. Oh please, I don't like. That was fun and everything, but that was terrifying. Uh, so back to the end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, quickly. Okay. So t- yeah, have, uh, you're gonna take the whole bindle of yeah. I got we'll, Absidy in the bindle. What we'll, time is it? It's about nine o'clock, I would say. Okay, so I'm sleeping through the night. Mostly you're sleeping for four hours at least. You're knocked out for four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we'll get back to the inn and uh, congregate in my room. We'll go right upstairs sure, sure, into sure. my room. And Erwin's like, my number one. What is? Why is he in the small bag? Uh, we'll talk later. Bye. I'm guessing the dinner went well. We'll talk later. Bye. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Bye, Erwin. You know, I'm just Erwin. I'm just some dick, apparently. Whatever. Nah, thanks for the beet soup. I'm going to get some in the morning. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. You a class act. Okay. So you go into your, your room, your collective room, and Dirt's just kind of like, oh, my God, that was awesome. That was fucking, I was amazing. That was great. Dirt, no, you're fantastic. Hold on. I just We need to bring it down for a minute. Sure. Is Shart in the room yet? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's get Absidy. We'll put him on the floor. He failed. He Man. can just lay on the floor over <laughs> in the corner. Yeah, you failed. I got the, the first thing. Yeah, but you didn't get the second thing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not as important. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Absidy will go in the corner, and then uh, I'll count the the this stuff the other things that they got from the first room and I want dirt to try and open the chest okay you want dirt to try to open the chest uh well let me see what my I would do what was lockpicking dexterity and sleight of hand yeah it's dexterity and proficiency well I well he doesn't he's not proficient so yeah. it'd be it'd be dex, my dex it would be dex basically. my dex is r- is a plus one so me definitely too. It's not just dex it, yeah I wouldn't I'm not gonna do that I'll have dirt do it try and open the chest okay, what's um, what's his his dex his dex is I think it's a two it's a one. Oh, so he's yeah. about the same. Can be any of us. We're all equally bad. I'll just have Dirt do it. He was the one that he picked the, sure. the other lot. Okay. I, um, I mean, just showing faith in you, buddy. Yeah, no pressure. Do you want to? Uh, you can bless him now if you want. Is It's not a saving throw, is it? Oh, it's not. Never mind. Yeah. Guidance. Don't you, do you have guidance? Or mm-hmm. is that a cleric spell? I don't have, I don't have that. Spell. I'm going to use that. That's a 19. <laughs> okay. So you hear... And it's not as... Effortlessly as um, Absidy does it, but he's able to undo it, and it is mm. Mm. it is this iron chest. And when you he opens it, because the poison mechanism already was triggered, so there's no dart that flies out. Yeah. Uh, and when you open, there are it's a iron chest that's lined with thin sheets of lead going across. It's a lead box, and inside are it seems to be human bones. And Dirk goes, ah. <laughs> That's it. Uh, That's it. Human bones. Fuck? People bones. You got a lead box, though. That's, That's important. It. Those are dope. Yeah, we might need What's that. What's that face? <laughs> <laughs> I'm knocked out. And then you put Absidy in the box. <laughs> yeah. Put him in there and close. <laughs> <laughs> Lock. Um, Lock your way out of that, Houdini. Could these, could could these be the bones of Saint Andrew? I mean, are we sure we got the right bones? I, I mean, mean, I don't know. Who's to say that they? I mean, obviously they could be. 
Why else would they keep bones in house for the... I don't... This is weird. We found other things, though. Um, And he undoes the bindle as Absy slowly just <laughs> slides out of his spoils. And he's just like, bleh. Um, There are a few things. There's um, a manifesto written by Lady Fiona about um, how wonderful Strahd is, it looks like. Um, there is a some deeds for land given by Strahd. These look to be centuries old, though, so I don't know how old Strahd is, but yeah, he's he's probably been around the block quite a few times. Um, it looks like there's something out to some kind of ancestor, Lady Lovena. Um, let me see here. Um, do you do you still have the the letter that Strahd gave us? Uh, yeah. And can I see it? Sure. So he he takes the letter. From Strahd, and it's a it's the letter to Lady Lavinia, and he's looking at it, and it's made out to from um, Lord Velasi von Holtz. But as Dirt looks it over, okay, Just look look at the way the S's are the same. I think Strahd is Lord Vaso von Holtz. So I guess. She's had, uh, he's visited that house for like years, centuries. So he's been in Velaki before. Despite having the bones of Saint, whatever his name is, he's still able to walk the town. That would mean that they're not that. Whoa. That means Irina might be in danger. Right? Question. Yeah. Um, I might need to roll an intelligence check on this, but obviously, like, because I, I know a thing. What's the thing? The thing is that a lead-lined box can... Hide magic. Hide magical med- abilities. metagaming? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and oh. would, I don't think I would know that. You I don't would, think any of us would, would know, know that. that. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. That's fair. So, I don't... I don't know. This is quite a pickle that we found ourselves in, because... <clears throat> If she finds this shit missing, do you think she's going to know it's us? She already knows that absolutely sneaky. Do we put it back? No, we don't go back. That's definitely not happening. <laughs> what do we do? I think we got to bring the this chest over to the church. Okay, do we do that now? What do we do about him? Yeah, we're, we're down a party member. I don't... There's no way we can... There's nothing we can do to... Like, if I do a lay on hands, that won't... Because he's not... It's just unconscious, right? He's not hurt. Mm. Four hours. You can wait four hours. That's really late, though. How long did it... Yeah. Because it started at about nine. One o'clock in the morning is when he'd wake up. Well, so this is what I'll say. If these are the bones of St. Andrew, and Strahd knows that... Or thinks that Lady Fiona has them... He's not going to go to the church right away. He still thinks that they're in her possession and that well, he can get there whenever he wants. He wouldn't be able to go into the the house, right? They were just in this box. So maybe the bones are there. Maybe the bones are at the church. Then Irina would be fine. Then whose bones are these? I don't know. I would say the husband, but I saw him very alive. Well, not live. He's very... It's He's... very weird. You know how bodies decay? Yeah. It wasn't decayed. It wasn't like... It just it looked like he was just sleeping. He wasn't like breathing or anything. Oh, no, he died oh, recently, God, right? No. Oh, no, fuck. she said he died like a while ago. Is he a vampire? No, I feel like he would have sprung up. Right? What? Oh the yeah, he had the on coins on his eyes. eyes. Oh, he had he had coins on his eyes. That's that's when people die. They put the coins for the passage through the underworld, right? Yeah. So he's dead, but she's keeping him like preserved, like a flower. Or like something in a jar. <laughs> like a flower. Is it like a flower? It's like a circle. It's like it's like a circle. It's like she's preserving him. How could she do that? I don't know. Magic? What else did you find? What else what else do we have here before we Oh well we have uh, quite a bit of coin. Actually, we have hundred and ten gold pieces. 
Um, we should probably split that amongst ourselves before Absidy wakes up. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's there. I know. I know it's there. But you might take more. <laughs> uh, and then we also have 180, I still don't know what they're called. Illyrium. 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 Uh, I'll run out with the 180 Illyrium. Mm -hmm. I'm going to plop it on the bar and be like, here you go. We'll be back later to talk. And I'll run back upstairs. Erwin's like, uh, this is what? Oh, my God. It's more. It's, I mean, it's worth more than copper and it's slightly less than silver. There's a retcon in there. That I said it was more worth than yeah. silver. It's not. It's, it's like Electrum. It's Electrum like the nickel. It oh, Electrum. Electrum. That's right. Electrum. And it's actually between silver and gold, not silver and copper. Oh, I thought it was silver. Oh, so it is slightly better. My bad. Oh, whatever. Yeah, this is for you, man. This is very... Oh, my God. <laughs> As you slam. <laughs> and then I run back upstairs. Okay. Um, what about... Um, meta. Books. Talk about books now? Yes. Um, <laughs> there's the... Um, there's another one. It's about, it's called the Grimoire of the Four Quarters, and it's written by someone named Devostas. Um, I gotta actually read this and figure out, I guess, if I can figure it out. Um, Meta, is there a way for us to actually read those books? They're not like physical books that I mean, like here you go, and then it's like a passage. But there are ways that you can read it and get information from it. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll, uh, history checks, both of you. Well, really, I think it would just be Rufio, because you live in the mountains. <laughs> okay, I rolled a two. Dweller. Well, a natural two. And so did, uh, dirt. Uh, that is a modded 21. A modded 21? Yeah. Um. It's okay, I actually rolled a one. Modded. <laughs> you... You know about Diabolists a little bit. Usually they protect their tomes, and when they're red... Usually drives the person crazy who reads it. Mm. Let's and Dirt's kind of just like leafing through it, and he's like, uh, "Dirt, don't, don't do that." Why? Uh, from what I remember, from the very little schooling that I had, uh, typically when people read that kind of text, they go insane. So, oh, let's not. Yeah, let's not. Instead, we did. Yeah. Okay. okay. Neat, neat. And then there are the the manifesto and then the other things. So, leaving through the manifesto, like, he's looking through it, and it's like, it's not, it's not super, like, in-depth. It just looks like it's about Lady Fiona, and it's, she's talking about how worshipping people like Strahd, who's people call a devil, that it would bring happiness. Like, she generally likes this guy. It's not like a fear thing. Like, she genuinely... Maybe she loves him. Not, like, romantically, but I think, like, you... Like, people love a god. Yeah. Well, boys, what's the, uh... What's the plan of attack for the evening? I have no idea. <clears throat> I think that the only thing that's important is... Just because we don't know what these bones are... I think getting them to the church... Is probably just the most important thing. Or the Illyrium or the Electrum is ninety gold pieces worth of currency. By the way, I cool. figured it out. That's for Irwin now. Looking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that means we don't have to pay anything else to stay no, here. No, we're we we're good. You stay as long town. as we want. This is your home headquarters now. <laughs> we're we're good. <clears throat> uh, don't have the, to pay for that hole anymore either. <laughs> you kind of did. <laughs> the only other thing that I could think of as being a good idea is um, maybe talking to Rudy. See if he knows anything. I know he hates Strahd. Maybe something like this will make sense to him. Rudy? Rudolph. Rudolph. Oh, right. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, there's general concern. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> if Strahd's been here, he can come back. If, for whatever reason, he's close with Lady Fiona and she lets him know that these things are missing, he knows we're here. Yeah. What's going to stop him from showing up? Nothing. Exactly. And we're down a party member right now. <laughs> so what should we do? What, do, we, do we just, what, we wait the night? Do we stay up during the night? Like, 
Maybe we have to take a watch. I don't... I don't think going out is the best idea right now. I think traveling during the day is probably smarter, at least when there's more traffic on the streets. If you're walking around right now at night, that's going to draw more attention than maybe <clears throat> we're... Yeah, but walking around in the middle of the day with a giant stolen iron chest is also... We don't necessarily need to bring the iron chest. What, you just suggest we put the bones in a bag and then we bring the bones? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the, another question that presents itself. What do we do about the offer now? The what? The offer? Hard pass. Oh. Um, <laughs> I think we need to... We need to defer as long as we can. We have to feign interest and, and just... How do really we... Really thinking about it. <laughs> We said we'd give her an answer in the morning. Well, we need to go to talk talk to the burgomaster in the morning as well. Okay. Okay, okay, we can we can do that. So what we just try to rest up now? Uh, that's I think what's best. Okay. Um I, who wants to keep watch first cuz I feel like I'm very awake right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're also very awake right now. Uh yeah, you take watch first. I'm going to try doing that that praying thing. Yeah, okay. please try that that praying thing, and okay. we'll um, watch this two hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after the second watch, mm -hmm. he'll be awake. Yes, he'll, he'll take wake that up. watch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look outside. Okay. <laughs> um, so uh, for the first two hours, if you want to go ahead and roll a perception for me, Rufio. Uh, 13. Okay. Uh, as you're trying to sleep, there are no, like, candles on or anything like that. And as Dirt, you hear him kind of just pacing about and, you know, he's a little bit restless. And so you're kind of just still awake. And as you look up again, there's this, that aura is back again. Just while he's muttering to himself, he's just shrouded in this white, bright light. Uh, <laughs> who's going on second watch? I'll do second watch. Okay. Did go you do ahead. first watch? No, Dirt did Dirt first did. watch. Oh, okay. So go ahead and roll perception. Mm, not as good. That is an eight. Nothing. I mean, you're looking around. Nothing really happens. Uh, and then <clears> as you are finishing up your watch, Absidy starts slowly, like, churning awake. Ow. You all right there, champ? Yeah. Are we back at the inn? Uh, yeah, you have dirt to thank for that. Cool. But, but He's not, asleep. Yeah, uh, you're on watch, buddy. What happened? We got the chest. It's bones. Bones? It's just, it's just human bones. Okay. Uh, the, the plan for tomorrow. Wait, we took the chest with us? <laughs> yeah. We have to put it back. What? We have to put it back. Are you a crazy person? Are you a crazy person? She's going to know that we took it. Why is she going to know that we took it? Because we were in her house. She went to sleep and then it was gone. Who else is going to take it? She's wealthy. Could have been a servant. It's not going to be a servant. I mean, if we're, how are we going to get it back? We're going to go back in there and put it in there. <sighs> That's a and horrible we need, idea. And we need bones that aren't those. The weight has to be the same. This is a horrible idea. It's the only idea. <laughs> I disagree with that wholeheartedly. Okay, well, I'm going to do it. Okay, you lift the chest and you go do it. Okay. Okay, this is a bad idea. Rufio, you need to come with me. No. I will not. What do you think is going to happen? They're talking at this volume, so if you'd like to wake up. <clears throat> hey, Shart. Gentlemen. We need to take the bones, not the bones, back, the chest back. I mean, it's a nice chest. Yeah, and if she sees it's gone, she's going to be real pissed. And she'll know it's us. <sighs> You're probably right. I am right. And then Dirk kind of, like, sits up and he goes, There's a graveyard. You can get bones there, right? Uh, what about bones from the kitchen? Those aren't going to look like, like what, human like bones. Chicken bones. If we're if we're trying bones? to make it convincing, we have wolf to go bones. all the way. Oh, is, is it a, is it a full like skeleton amount of bones? Oh, 
Guess we're going grave robin, boys. Mystery team? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mystery team. All right. This episode's going to be called Bone Heist. <laughs> um, Tonight there's going to be a bone heist. <laughs> uh, are we, are you armoring up? Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, God. You're not gonna that be, I haven't. You're going to be so not stealthy. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you both and Dirt are I'm not going to go, like, in the house. I'm, anything outside, yeah. If, okay. if it, it's involved inside the house, I'm not going. I mean, I don't have any armor, so I could be stealthy. Can you be stealthy? I can't, yeah. like, What is your stealth? My stealth is plus one. Okay. But I also, I don't have any armor at all. Mm-hmm. So He's just a, ma- he's a yeah, giant. He's a massive man. <laughs> Oops. My armor class is 14, where okay. I'm a loin cloth. So you guys, so we're going to the, so you have to go back to the church to dig up bones, because that's where the graveyard uh, is. Yeah. Can we just swap out the bones that are? With what? What are we going to swap the bones the out Saint with? The St. Andrew's bones. What? You want to swamp? No. Swap the holy bones. <coughs> no. We don't know if those gonna, are the holy bones. I'm gonna hard pass that. that. There's no way we can do that. What well, I mean, we have. Oh, I to, don't know. I'm just. I. I mean, I, what I get, time is it? Bones are bones. It's about. It's so you woke up at one. It's one a.m. Yeah. Okay. And the death march is going on. So you're seeing ghosts kind of walk in the streets. You don't see anyone else out, but you see spectral ghosts. All right. Yeah. Let's go. We gotta go now if we're gonna go. Let's do it. Oh God, damn it! Is there a um? Is there a lock box in our room? There's like maybe like a foot locker. Uh, yeah, that's all I mean. Yeah, just to okay. put all our stuff in. Yeah. Okay, put that in there and sh- 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 lock that shit up. Okay. Okay, so grave robbing. Are we bringing the chest with us? We should probably do that, right? Sure. Yeah, Will we you carry the to. chest. Yeah. At least uh, that, or we can pick up the chest on our way back. Because we have to go to the graveyard, and that's like 40 minutes that way. And then we have to go all the way back here, and then it's up like 20 minutes. So we can leave it here. That way it's not like behind. Like, we don't have to worry about lugging it. As yeah, long but... as it's on the way back. Yeah, it's on the way back, right? Yeah, it is. I don't know. What do you think? I think it's in, it's important. I think we should so keep bring it with it with us. us? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I'll you're the one that has to carry yeah. it. <laughs> I'll carry so. it. Okay, so are you guys saying anything while you guys are going to the graveyard? <clears throat> sure. uh, I, I already goes. rolled a strength check. I rolled an 18. Okay. So This wouldn't have happened if you didn't get caught. I'm not even going to respond. I'm sorry. I just panicked. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought the chest. I just, you know. Do we, wait, do we also re-trigger a poison trap into it? Gonna have to try. We'll figure that out when we get to the graveyard. Do we still have that dart from my neck? Yeah, I Great. would say so. Yeah, I took it out. Okay. So, do you know how to make poison? <laughs> it doesn't have to I, be effective. It I, just has to be no, in there. No, you do. <laughs> oh, I do. I got this. Okay, so we're... <laughs> All right, guys, poison check. <laughs> so we're walking... So you're walking to the graveyard. Like I said, anything you guys are discussing, like any kind of formula of a plan at this point... Uh, I mean, I can say the plan is to make it look like we were never there, figure out what the bones are, and okay. blow dust into the wind. No, that just means, like, we were never there. Oh. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about any of this right now, because I'm badass. <laughs> I'm badass. <laughs> I'm hard. Um, so you get to the uh, St. Andrew's, uh, what you call it? Church. Uh, church. church. And uh, the lights are out. And it's pretty quiet. The moonlight's coming out. You see occasional specters, like, come out. They don't even, like, notice you as they move past and sometimes through you, which is a weird sensation. Mm-hmm. It's very cold. Uh, and you see at the back end of the, basically at the back end of the church that goes into the graveyard, you see uh, Mi- Milovic, I think his name was. Yeah. Uh, you see his shovel that he always carries around. Oh, good. I'm happy it's not him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are, there, um, are there any graves that are... Fresh. Fresh, yeah, or like well, half dug. Not fresh, fresh, but like half dug. Not really. You don't see it. You see everything has like vegetation, grass and whatnot. Okay, I don't read good, but look for whichever headstone is yeah. the oldest. Which one's the oldest? Uh, go ahead and roll investigation for me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> uh, 19. 19. Uh, 12. My investigation's a minus one, so that's huh. a natural zero, or modified zero. Um, <laughs> you see one that it looks like it's one of the oldest that have been here. Uh, it's been there for at least maybe 60 years. Um, can... Mm, I haven't rested all, 
day. So if I dig if I dig in my armor, am I gonna get exhaustion? You might get exhausted and take mean, a little bit. I got rest. I would yeah, I'll shark do it. Okay, shark, go ahead and roll uh strength check. See if you can Kinked. dig this dirt out. Uh, eight. Eight. Okay. It takes him about like 20 minutes to kind of dig out these bones and you see this uh, wooden coffin. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll throw my dagger down and have him pop it open. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and pop it open and you see these very old dusty bones inside in a suit. What kind of suit? <laughs> One that won't fit you. Okay. But will it fit Rufio? No. Okay. <clears throat> We're just right. trying to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> we never know when you're going to need a nice suit. <laughs> we need a dead person suit because we're, we're good. All right, <laughs> we well, got a dead baby suit get, in the family. Let's get the bones out of this suit. We don't have a lot of time. Okay. So uh, go what? ahead and roll. Uh, <laughs> I have no Slide idea. Of what hand. The Slide of hand. Make sure you're not like destroying anything. Uh, that is uh, 19. 23. Are you gonna help? Oh, do I have? To, I no. <laughs> he's, he's, he's napping. Nineteen and twenty-three. I'm not napping, but like you're just kind of resting. Yeah. I'm okay. So sit. you're able to get this out, and you put the suit back in, and you cover uh, the the coffin. And so while you start putting the bones back, oh. in, excuse me, back into the box. While they're up? doing this, I'm praying. Okay. I'm gonna be outside the church and like on a knee. Okay. I'm gonna uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, 13. Okay. That darkness starts coming back and you hear those faint ravens as you, <clears throat> you shake it off again. Um, I'm not okay. good at wisdom saving throws mm. and it's high. I don't get it. It's, it's fairly high. You're good at them. Um, so you're, you're slowly putting the dirt back on top of the mm-hmm. graveyard and, yeah. or the grave and you're slowly putting the meticulously putting the bones back in and filling it back up and it looks it looks pro a performance make it look like some old bones 11 okay you get some of like the dry dirt and you put it on like top to make it look like they're old and dusty and it looks pretty okay and now you need to reset the trap for it okay So I'm going to have you roll a sleight of hand check with your proficiency on it. With proficiency Mm -hmm. on it? I'll let you have proficiency on it. What about my poison creation? You got to start. Yeah. You need to. Do you have any poison yet? Have you made any yet? Uh, We can sneeze on our hands. (laughs) (laughs) No, I've never made any. You don't have any poison vials or anything? We have have empty vials. Yeah, we have empty vials. No, we don't have any empty vials. No, they're all filled with holy holy water. water. We'll dump a holy water. Okay. Yeah, but we don't have anything to make poison. That's the thing. There's nothing to. We can't create it if there's nothing to make it. Mm. Well, first I got twenty-two. Okay, so you're able to load the trap back up. Okay, so I think we're fine just loading it back up. I don't think I, she's not going to check and know see if, if it's, it's poisoned. Poisoned. She's not like. Does Ooh. does the dart look any different when it's poisoned? No. Oh, we have the dart. Yeah, then we're fine. Okay. So, and then you just, you have to relock it. So go ahead and roll a, use your lock picking set to see if you can re lock it. Um, 10, 10. Yeah. Okay. So you're able to kind of like after a while it winds a little bit, but you're able to satisfy like click and you have this, this iron chest. Okay. Okay. Let's go. It's a 16 to carry. Okay. So you're able to, you hoist it back up and, um, okay. That's where that is. So you end up going back to pass the blue water in and you're back at the, the house. What time is it? It's I mentioned be, it's about, it's gotta be close to two forty five three in like the morning. Almost three. Mm-hmm. All right. Listen, get in, get out. Don't fuck around. I'm not. I just want to get out. Good. Get out. I'm Don't fuck around. I'm fucking tired. You just slept for four <laughs> I was knocked out. It was not a restful sleep. It's not sleep. a restful sleep. It's like a drunk sleep. Yeah. Good. He lives um, there then. So, Dirt and I are going to go. You ready, Dirt? armor. Oh, fuck. Dirt, are you in you armor? Have to go with, you have to go with this guy. He's the only one who can carry it. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. You can't carry this thing, man. No, you're right. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, when you go up to the door, this time it is locked. Oh, fuck. So that means someone's been awake. Um, Wait, did, what about... Didn't you have to pick it to get in the last time? No, it was over. No, this is the front door. Awake. Oh. Um, what about the windows? Is there any way for me to access that window to her room? You can attempt to, like, dex, like, acrobatics check to see if you can scale up the wall. And it, you most likely will have to pick the lock to open the window. Yeah, but how are you going to get the, the, tri the chest in? Mm. You have, I, it, it, I didn't you know if there was... You to go up and then walk your way down and open the front door. Do you have a picture of the house? I don't. I don't have, like, a profile picture of the house. But I it, just have different floors for it. So is there any, like... Any hill type thing or vine? There's like or... a, there's like, um, there isn't anything that you can use to scale it, but there's a, like a roof part of the, where the window is, there's like different levels to where the roof slants. And so under the roof or under the window is a roof slant. So you could potentially like stand on it, but you'd have to get up there. So there's nothing for you to like scale like a drain pipe or something. Okay. But there's, if you get up there, there is a place for you to at least stand and have a wide berth to can, kind of like assess. <clears throat> can I put him on my shoulders so he can get up there? You can try. I mean, I have, I, a, I have a passive ability for mm -hmm. climbing too. Okay. So I don't know if that you can attempt to like, see if you can kind of jump off his shoulders and then kind of run jump and try to hold on to the, the roof shingle. See if you can get up that way and pull yourself up. Dirt. What do you think? Or dirt? Uh, shark. What do you think? Jump on man. Do you think it's better than going through the front door? <clears throat> I mean, I mean, I know you can pick a lock like anybody, so, like, <clears throat> I, I think we can make it work either way. I think it makes more sense to go through the front door, because I don't think I can get up there. You're right. Okay, so I... Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just scale around while you're doing that, so tell me what you're doing while okay. Dirk's gonna be Okay, while he's around. doing that, I still want you to get me up there just so I can look through the window to okay. see if she's... Yeah. Hop on, boy. Okay, so this is acrobatics? Mm-hmm. Uh, 26. <laughs> okay. So you're able Gross. to kind of like run, jump up, and you hang on to the, the shingle, and you pull yourself up. Okay. And I look inside. Is she still asleep? She the There's the curtains against the window, so you can't uh, really tell. Is the window unlocked? Yes. No, it's not. It, it's locked? It's locked. And as you roll around, it's like, there's a back door. Is it open? No. Is it better than the front door? I don't know. I'm just saying there might be a, like, there's another way in. All right, let's try it. Okay. Um. Well. What do you want to try? Do you want to try to open the window and then? How about yeah. This? You try to open the yeah. window and we'll try to go through the back door. Okay. Cool. And so, uh, if if anything goes wrong, Dirt's gonna message you. If we see anything. Okay. I'll meet you guys at the stairs. Okay. So, uh. Go ahead and roll a lock picking check. I'm stressed. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is this feels like the gesture not situation all over again. <laughs> That's you wanted to I, us to do that. I did. Uh, twenty four. Twenty four. Okay. I mean, you're able to unlock it, and you hear the click, and then you wait, and you don't hear any stirring. I need you to roll a stealth as you try to open the window. Uh, 28. <laughs> you, you open up like you're fucking Peter Pan. We forgot he existed. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you're able to slowly, you see like their dressers, like it has stuff on it. You're able to kind of put your feet on it and you see that low fire hearth and you go back and it's that guy's still there and he's sleeping and he's dead and, and his and wife. And she's still sleeping? Yes. Okay. So... Then I need to stealth check if I want to go to the other door and unlock it. Meanwhile, while he's doing that, I'll let you roll and then don't tell me what it is yet. Okay. Okay. So Dirt's like, okay, we're gonna let's let's go across. And so you go to the back door and it's another lock door, and Dirt's gonna attempt to pick it open. He doesn't have lock picking tools, does give he? Give me like a dagger. Maybe I can Yeah, I'll give him a dagger. Or he he has the thin wire too that oh, he uses right, right, for right. the message. So Nice. Okay. And so you hear him and he's like, and you hear it click and he's able to, and he opens it. Let's see if it's quiet. It goes, and he's like, 
we're in. I mean, it's better than <clears throat> Okay, okay. Um, not as terrifying, right? Uh, so you guys go into through the back door. And you are in a, uh, it looks like a storage closet. It's a black, it's at the back vestibule. Um, it's very similar to the front, but it looks like it goes to, um, there's a door to your left, uh, a door in front of you, and then a door to your right. Door to the left, door to the back, and door to the right. So door front, door left, door right. Would I, would we have any idea where, uh, based on the fact that we've been in the house before, where anything would... Not really. You, you know where the, um, where Absty went the first time and he left and he's like, boring. Which was when you guys were in the den. Yeah. So that was... That was, that was to the right, the right Yeah. So there's left uh, and forward. We'll go straight. <laughs> okay. Well, are we all going in or is it just me? Because you guys are in armor, you guys might be allowed. Yeah, we're going to have to... We'd have to roll stealth at disadvantage. Um, I mean, it would make more sense for you to go by yourself. That's but. what I was thinking. That's why I wasn't sure why you were coming with me. Where are you going to go? <clears throat> um... Do I hear any noise? Can I roll a perception to see if I hear any noises coming from any of the doors? Uh, sure. Uh, that is an 11. Don't really hear anything. Just the, uh, you know, the regular moans and groans of a house, of an old house. I think I will go through the, the door in the center. The center door. Okay. Uh, so you open it. It's unlocked. Uh, and it looks like a... Um, kind of a closet um it has uh servant coats and aprons that hang up from hooks in the uh the room and there are boots leaning neatly lined up against a wall okay so i think that means one of the other doors is the servant's quarters yes before you leave roll a perception for me 23 as you start turning around you hear kind of like wind coming up from underneath the wall in the front of you. Kind of like just air moving. like. Those to the one that I just opened? To the door you opened. Like, so there's the wall in front of you that has coats and boots lined up. Mm -hmm. And you hear it coming from underneath that wall that has the boots and coats lined up. <sighs> I feel like I would be curious about that. Okay. So you put your hands up to the wall and you kind of press very gently as you put the chest down mm -hmm. and you hear a ch -ch -ch, and it slowly opens creak and you see a pair of staircases going down. Oh, fuck. Tonight there's gonna be a grave rob. <clears throat> and you see that there's like dim light coming from it. Keep in mind, you also have the chest on you right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we can go down and look. <clears throat> yeah. Um. <clears throat> he's doing a thing. He's doing a thing. I don't, we I should don't, probably go in. Yeah. He's bad. Is this a stroke or what? Roll, uh, roll stealth at disadvantage. disadvantage. Yeah. Fuck okay. shit. Dirt will be doing <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> four? <laughs> Dirt also rolled a four. Yeah. So you both go up Solidarity. to the entryway at the same time and go clink. I thought you were. I thought you were gonna go. Are you? Do you want to? No, I mean, I'll I was go. gonna. You want to go? Do you want to go first? No, I'll go first. Yeah, yeah, No, I'll go first. Dirk goes in first, and he just kind of clink, 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 and then reveal falls with clink, 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 <laughs> and you're in this really cramped like quarters, and they're both looking. What you? What? What the fuck? What the fuck is this house? I don't. Whisper louder. You guys go down. I'll try and find the way up. Okay. Somehow. <laughs> this is fucking bonkers. Just do it. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll come back and find you guys if we're not here in 20 minutes. Get the fuck out. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to go find the thing. And in again, you guys got message. Let us know if some shit's going down. Yeah, we'll do. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess you guys go there. 
<sighs> Should I go in the right or left so door? Excited. Uh, I think I think left. I think Absidy went in the right door, and it was nothing. Okay. Okay. So you go to the right. The left. Well, no. Absidy the left. Your left. Right. I'm sorry. I go to the left. Okay. Wait. Um, would that have been his right going out? So it would have been the left. I I went S- north. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So that's you go, your, I, I have the mental map that you you wait, ate, like did with yeah. your hands. So that's all I know. So the door you'd be going to is the one that he didn't go to. Yes. So that's the one you're going for. Well then, but no. When if, you come through the back, there's the right side of the yeah. there's a right door, and from there, when you were in the den, Absidy, from the map in your head, because you're good at cartography. Yeah. You would know that's where Absidy went in, looked around, and was just like, eh, there's no cool shit, and then came back to the den. On the left, you don't know what's in there because no one went in there yet. Well, then I want to get back to the den because I know if I get to the den, I can get to him. Okay. So which door is the den? (laughs) Absidy, you didn't tell them what the the room was at all. You're just like, not dope shit, right? Yeah. Okay. Damn it. (laughs) You you got a 50-50 shot. Oh, we're what? going downstairs. Yeah. Too, but I'm gonna go. go. What? What didn't he know? Because after I went that way and there was nothing, I left the other way. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you didn't tell them what was in that room. Oh, okay. Which you didn't tell him what was in that yes, room. Yes, I did. I said there were there were beds. It was like servants' quarters. It was a f- servants' quarters. So okay. you have a fifty-fifty shot of if you open that door, there are four people sleeping in that room. But but didn't I come oh back? Didn't I come back? Because the den and then their area. So yep. if I, I went up, mm-hmm. I came back. They were in that room. They saw that I didn't. Well, they weren't in there. They were serving. Yeah, we were we were in the dining room. So you knew that it was oh, the servants' quarters. Oh, gotcha. Okay. But you didn't tell them, oh, that's where the servants live. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I mean, I, my thought process anyways was to go into the door that he didn't tell us. To go to the door that he didn't go sure. to. Okay. So. Go for it. <clears throat> is that stealth? You're going to stealth to open the door because it's unlocked. <clears throat> What'd you get? An 11. Okay. <laughs> so the door squeaks. It goes, and you look through it. You like peek your head through, and it looks to be a storage room. That at the end of the storage room, there's another doorway. So it looks like it's an alternative route. Oh, thank God. So in this room, you see a bunch of crates that hold old clothing, uh, three barrels of drinking so water, <laughs> uh, two empty wine barrels, and one full wine barrel. Uh, <laughs> the, wi- the wine barrels are in blazoned. With the winery name, the Wizard of Wines. And the wine's name is Red Dragon Crush. Fuck faces. They're stealing the wine. <laughs> they probably get it imported. They're rich. She's a fuck face and she's stealing the wine. Let's murder her. Let's don't know kill her. Okay, so absolutely tell me what you got. Uh, 21. Okay, 21. He, he, you were able to like lockpick it and I need you to roll stuff to open it. Please, Jesus, please, Jesus. 24? Please, Jesus. 24. Yes. <laughs> and it does... You're able to open it, and do you leave the door open, or do you close it? Uh, I close it, but I don't let the latch go in. Okay. So it's, like, just sitting there, but it looks okay. closed. Okay. So you just gently rest it up, and you do a roll stealth again. 18. 18. Okay. So you don't make any sound right as you... Where are you waiting? Are you waiting at the foot of the stairs? Where are you waiting at? Uh, No, the, the top of the stairs. Okay. The top of the stairs. Oh, I... Okay. Or... Because the plan has changed, do you go down to the front to open the front door? No, I told them I'd meet them at the stairs. Okay, so you wait by the stairs. All right, so we will go back to Rufio <coughs> and... Oh, God damn it, I can't get through the dirt. door yet. Um, so you start going down the steps. Mm-hmm. There are iron, iron torch sconces that cling to the wall of a stone staircase uh, that cuts its way through the heart of, an old, of the old house. Um, and then as you go down down it looks like there is where is it sorry i have to look at the stupid map again it goes down to r okay cool (sighs) i was surprised you guys went down there is as you go down uh there is a cellar door (laughs) and outside um it says a slanted it's a slanted wooden cellar door with an iron iron pull ring and iron hinges that stands against the foundation of the house. Mm. That was ominous thunder. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<clears throat> do we open the door? I mean, there's only two of us. Do you have any potions? Did you give me any potions? I don't have... Absidy has all of our potions. What would Hoa do? And based on what we know about this woman, you go like downstairs. Her. You don't like her. <laughs> go downstairs. Let's do it. So you guys pull onto the latch and they kind of just go... And it leads to a further down staircase. Is there any light? There's still kind of like a little bit. It's not It's not super can light we, heavy. Can we grab a, a, a torch? torch? Let me see if dirt has anything. I mean, There's... I have torch stuff, I think, as well. I was just going to pull one off the wall. Okay, yeah, you can pull one off the wall. So I'll pull one off the wall. And you see that it's kind of like a dirt floor at the bottom. It looks like a cellar. All right, we'll, we'll go in. Okay, and you start going down these as- descending stone steps. Uh, and there's these like wooden railings that you guys hold on to. So we'll go back to Shart. <sighs> what are we doing? I'm going through the door on the opposite side of the thing. Okay. Uh, as you go through. I think this should take me into the kitchen. You are in the kitchen. So in the kitchen. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the wrong thing I'm looking at. Uh, kitchen is... Basically, it just it looks like there's a, a wash basin. There are... Um, it's basically spotless. Yeah, it's the a kitchen. Very well, I know that the kitchen, from being there, the kitchen's next to the dining room, and the dining room's close to the stairs. The the kitchen is on the other side of the hallway. That one led to the dining room, and this one led to the kitchen. So you know that when you came in, right went to the kitchen, and left went to the dining room. So yeah. you know that you're right next to the stairs. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm heading towards the stairs. Okay. Uh, go ahead and open the door. See if you can stealth open it. What'd you get? Nine. Okay, so while you're at the foot of the stairs, Absidy, you hear and you see the kitchen uh, door open as you see Shark point, poke his head out. <laughs> hey! Over hey. here. I'm um, In your head, uh, Absidy, you hear uh, Dirt go, there's a cellar. We're gonna go down to the cellar. You can respond to this message. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I just, Shark just got here. Give us Ten minutes. Okay, and then while you're at the foot of the stairs, uh, Dirk kind of goes, they just, uh, Shark just got to there, should, we should wait, and then we'll all go down to the cellar? I have all the potions. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, uh, do we hear anything? Nothing. What do we do, sir? We'll wait. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 <laughs> All right. So back to my my stealthy, stealthy boys. Half orc barbarian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead. So I got a stealth to get up the stairs. Mm-hmm. Nineteen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, Nineteen. You're able to very easily go up the stairs. You barely like make any sound. Uh, and then when you get to the foot of stairs, Absidy's there like. Um, you all right, let's go doing. put it. It's this room over here. Okay. Okay, so let's try to open the door. Make it. Make sure it's quiet. Roll group stealth check. check. So both of you roll stealth. 12. 15. Okay. So you relatively, like, it opens, and I need you to... Is there an advantage because I didn't fully close the door? <laughs> no. This old house. Uh, it kind of groans a little bit, but nothing really happens. And you look inside, and this is the first time you're seeing a chart, but you're seeing... You see the bed, and you see the husband in the bed, <gasps> and her sleeping next to the husband. It's weird. Yeah. It was right there. Go put it there. Okay, fine. And you see this, like, dust where this iron sh- uh, yeah. chest was. Okay, go ahead. Is, and- is, uh, is Shart wearing shoes or anything still? No, I'm barefoot. No. Okay, just making sure. Just make sure your feet <clears throat> are clean. Huh? Hmm? Oh, they were? <laughs> Okay, we did a ahead. lot of walking and you dug a hole. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead and uh, I don't know if you have mud on your feet or not. I don't think I do. The ground wasn't wet. You dug a hole you in dug the dirt. You dug a hole in the dirt. <clears throat> Shut up. We'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a stealth for me. Twelve. <laughs> so as you start walking across, you're like, 
<clears throat> okay. You you get way to the where the dresser is, and you <gasps> gently put the uh, what you call it, the iron chest back. Mm -hmm. And you look down at the floor, and you see orc prints. Wow. Um, you get out. I'll clean with the cloaks. <laughs> go ahead and roll. Wait, stealth here. Let me. Um, across. I I, gotta, I throw him one of the cloaks so mm -hmm. he can walk on that. Okay. And like yeah, wipe up as he cleans. Slide yeah. Slide back. Okay, Actually, I no. I I give him two because he can wrap his feet up in it. Okay. I still need you to roll a stealth though. No. Four. <laughs> <laughs> you had to say the stealthy half orc. Had to say it. Okay. So as you're going across the floor, you kind of creak and you hear, and she stands, sticks straight up, and she looks to the uh, to the window, and you're just kind of like, and she looks at you. And she makes eye contact with you. <laughs> she goes, Can I help you? Tell her it's a dream. <laughs> Can you? What are you doing in my home? I know that this looks weird. <laughs> But one of my little friends, you know, the, you know, the little one, the, the guy that needed the fish. Uh huh. He has a problem and he likes to try and take things. And I saw that he took a piece of jewelry that you had in here. And when he went to sleep tonight, I took it back. I wanted to return it to you because I don't want any ill will between our group. I slink out of the doorway. <laughs> Roll persuasion. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I don't keep any jewelry up there. What were you doing? It was someone's. <laughs> Look at Patrick, he's so, he's so tiny. Um, that's what I was doing. I was just returning something that he took from you. You know what? I don't appreciate liars. You know that, right? I completely would understand that. Um, okay. So she slowly gets up and she puts her hands together and she slowly says something under her breath. And oh, it's shit. where that will go back to Rufio and Dirt. So you two are waiting outside of the cellar door. Where you start hearing clicking, clinking from down in the cellar, down in the cellar, and very slowly you start seeing bones coming up and starting to connect to each other as they slowly start coming. There are uh, these skeletons that slowly start coming upstairs, and it's like, oh god, what do we do? What do we do? What send messages, message, message, message. let them know, this, let them know, the let skeletons, know. the skeletons in the cellar, the skeletons, the skeletons send help, and he sends it to Abstein. Yeah. Uh, she saw Shart. <laughs> She's awake. Uh, Help. She saw Shart. He's awake. She's uh, awake. She's awake. She's awake. What do we do? What do we do? What start, do we do? Start killing skeletons. Not run back? Nope. I'm trying to buy you guys time. Oh. All right. So we'll go downstairs and we'll <clears> deal <throat> with that soon. Yeah. And she goes. I think that's what we're going to do. I don't like being lied to. Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw for me. Wisdom save? Oh, no. As she pulls out this very tiny crochet needle and she whispers into it. Oh, that's that sounds naughty. Natural 20. Woo! Oh! So you start feeling your body tense up and you shake it off. What do you do? <coughs> we know what Char would do. <coughs> Maybe you should look at me and say, hey, this fucker doesn't lie. And then I pull out my maul. Oh, no. You're going to attack me. 
in my home that you broke into? Maybe you should learn to believe people sometimes, bitch. <laughs> Not when they're lying. Who said I lied? Me. I, didn't I could lie. tell that you lied. <laughs> Absy, what are you doing during this? Uh, are, you, are, are you about to attack? Because I'll, I mean, I would come up behind <coughs> you, but right now I'm just standing there. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still like slightly back. Like she can't see me, but. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Well. Actually, is, is, uh, is her eyeline broken? Like, could I sneak up behind Shart? No. Like, the way that she's... Uh, Shart's to the right of her. Like, you're over here. She would see you, like, go across the room. Hmm. I gotta check two things, so talk very quickly amongst yourself. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm about to start swinging. <laughs> yeah, if you make... I, I mean, I can, like, throw a dagger. Well, she's not looking. But that's... I would have to get some sort of signal from you to do it. So fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> we have to bring the jest back. This, this was a, a this is one hundred percent your jester or not. Yeah, this is absolutely what that is. This is great. Exactly this is yeah. fantastic. I respect that. Uh, I love this. I mean, as soon as you, because I'm waiting, I'm sitting in the wings. As soon as you swing, I'm running in. Dude, I'm fucking Barry Bonds right now. Like I am juiced and loaded, and I'm ready to knock seven fifty seven out of the fucking park. <laughs> and I'm here with daggers. <laughs> Okay, so we'll say as you unsheath your maul and it lights up with this fire, fire. She looks at you and she looks sad. And then she looks over at the bed. Oh no. And she mutters something under her breath as you see. Of course. The husband's corpse comes to life as she darts for the uh, door. I stop her. You can attempt to stop yeah. her. Yeah, I don't think you can. <laughs> she is bigger than you. Okay. She's old. She's old. She's gone. Uh, so go ahead and roll uh, strength checks. <sighs> Me too? No. Okay. What'd you get? One. <laughs> okay. She just, she barrels past you. Buzz. And she goes, Ernst! Ernst, we have intruders! And you and Dirt are, as you're going down to fight all these skeletons, you can hear her shrill shrieking. Uh, okay, that one shit really fast, huh? Oh my god, that this is not an ideal situation. Oh god, we're like, where are we at? We're at 20. <coughs> uh, actually, we're, we got time. We're at what? It's going to be a long one, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> give me a few here, moments, I everyone. Uh, I need, we have to roll initiative. Here, let's, uh, we'll, we'll cut the episode here and okay. then... Just uh, bring do it. a quick, do a short episode, do a quick fight. Yeah, do yeah. it. Okay, that's follow. fine. So we'll end it here, and then next week, <laughs> next week, see what happens. See what happens. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks shit. for watching. You guys know the spiel. See we ya. love you. Oh, I love all. drinking out of my cup. <laughs>